Hi, I am Adol Navarro, and this time I want to introduce you the new improved 2.0 version of the hand gesture pupiter Python script for Icon. When I saw the version 1.0, I thought, wow, this is a very cool idea. But it was developed just to check the new Python possibilities of Icon, and it was not useful in real projects because we were restricted to use only the gestures provided by default and the gestures were applied always on both hands simultaneously. However, the idea was perfectly valid and attractive. It only needed to be improved. So, like in the Smooth Camera Follow script, I started collaborating with the Revolution team to convert this Python example in a useful tool that you actually could use in your projects. And here is the result. The first logic improvement is that now you can select in which hand the gestures are going to be recorded using this combo box. Let's do an example starting with the right hand. We can preview the animation in the usual way of iCloud, clicking the preview button and then pressing the space key to start and stop the previewing. As we move the cursor between the gestures of the circle, the fingers are gradually changing from one gesture to another at the speed that we set with the mouse. We can work getting a mix of all the gestures available in the ring using the multipoint mode or just with the closer two of them using the two-point mode. Notice that while previewing, Iclone will play a loop in the defined range of the animation. And we must stop the previewing by pressing the space key again. We can do the recording in the same way, just clicking the record button instead and pressing the space key again, the gestures will be recorded in real time on the selected hand. The recording will stop if we press the space key one more time, or if we reach the end of the animation range. So now we can play the animation and see the result. If we like it, we can select the left hand and start again the same process. This new recording in the left hand will not affect the previous one stored in the right hand. And it's very convenient because it allows us to focus in the hand gestures of one single hand each time we use the script. We can do gesture recordings over a previous motion clip already assigned to our character, or even over just a fragment of the previous motion. For example, let's do a gesture recording from the frame 100 to the frame 500 over a previous clip with 600 frames. When we do the gesture recording, the previous clip is broken at the initial point, allowing us to define the transition area between the original gesture and the new one. However, the number of transition frames between our last recorded gesture and the one set by the previous existing motion clip is defined by the blend out recording with original clip numeric field. This is very useful, ensuring always a smooth transition between the new recorded gestures and the old ones. And this is not all. In this new version, we can define the gestures of the ring by clicking any mouse button over the circle where we want to store the gesture. In the menu that appears, we can select the current gesture of any of the character hands, and it will be assigned to the selected circle along with an icon created by screen capture. If we don't like the icon, we can overwrite it in any moment. After placing the character's hand in the right angle, we can use the screenshot to icon option to replace the icon image with a new shot. 
We also can use an image editor like Photoshop to create an icon image and assign it to the circle using the Change Icon Image option. So we can use the Edit Motion layer to define the desired gesture and save it in one of the ring circles. In the same way, we can load any gesture from our Content Manager and save it as well in one of the ring circles. Once we have the ring properly filled, we can save the group of gestures clicking on this little button in the right top of the window and assigning a name for the group. So now we can create and save as many gesture groups as we wanted and recall them when needed. And this feature really expands the possibilities of this tool, as we can create groups of gestures for any need that we could have. And this is it. I think that you will find this tool extremely useful. I'm already using it and I love it. Thanks for watching and until the next video, be safe. Bye.